Good morning. Happy Easter. Hopefully everyone has found all the Easter eggs. <laughs> Easter egg hunt. Cool. All right. So we have another family circus class today. My name is Kelly, if you haven't met me before. And I'm pretty excited to be teaching the class again. Cool. So let's see what we'll be getting up to. So first up, we will have a bit of a warm up and play a game and then do some juggling and some object balancing on different parts of our bodies. Then some adagio or partner balance work and we're going to revisit some shapes that you covered a couple weeks ago with Rich and perhaps a couple of new ones too. Then we'll do some creation work, so some making some fun shapes and uh, telling some stories. Cool. And then we're going to give our bodies a nice little cool down, a bit of a stretch to uh, make our muscles happy after they've done some hard circus work. Hard but fun circus work. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Cool, so we are streaming these classes every week. Uh, you can tune in each week. Family Circus will be Sundays at 11 each week. So hopefully we'll see you there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do with warming up our body is we're just going to go through the body, all the different parts, and say hello to each of them. So good morning, toes. So we're going to start with our toes and we're going to give our toes a wiggle. Hello toes. Hi. Are you working? All right. And our heels. Now let's just lifting up on our heels, little bounces. Bounce, 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 bounce. Just like the Easter Bunny might bounce around. So heels. And our knees. Can you give your knees a wiggle? Wiggle your knees. You can give them a pat as well at the same time. So patting your knees and wiggling them. And moving up your leg, your thighs. Give your thighs a shake and a pat. All right, and your hips. Can you pat your hips and you give them a shake out? Cool. And your tummy or your puku. Give that a wiggle and a pat. And your chest. Can you pat your chest and shake your chest up? And your shoulders. Give them a shake out. Give them a good shake. And your elbows. Can you give those a shake out? Maybe it looks like a chicken wing. And your hands. Can you shake your hands? It. and your head as well so let's shake our head around that's it alrighty so we're gonna play a game called captain's coming okay so ah uh, hi Eleanor <laughs> I'm glad that you're doing the class awesome all right, so we're going to play Captain's Coming. So you go to list here, floor is going to be scrub the floors. Because on the ship, we've got to keep the ship nice and clean. Okay, so when I say scrub the floors, you're going to come and scrub the floor. Um, okay. When I say hit the deck, then you're going to lie down flat on the deck of the ship. Okay. Another task for now will be climb the rigging. So that looks like climbing with our hands and our legs. So we're going to climb, climbing up the rigging up to the top of the ship. Okay? So we'll just try those three rules first to get a handle of it, because otherwise there can be too many things to remember, right? So we will give that a go now. Cool. Okie dokie. Work. 
All right, so scrub the floor. Did you get that one? Nice work, Watson. And climb the rigging. Hit the deck. Climb the rigging. Nice work. Great job. All right, so we're going to add another command in, and that is, I'll say, Captain's coming, and you say, stand up nice and tall, nice and straight with a neat uniform, and you go, aye aye, Captain. Okay, so I want you to salute your hand, aye aye, Captain, when I say Captain's coming. Okay, all righty. Are we ready? Here we go. All right. Climb the rigging. And hit the deck. Scrub the floor. Hit the deck. Scrub the floor. Climb the rigging. Captain's coming. Nice work. All right, so we're going to make the game a little bit more challenging now. So last week with me, we looked at a few important circus shapes. And does anyone remember what those were? There was a few of them. So last week, to remind you, we did a pike. So we had nice, long, straight legs, straight knees, squeezing your knees so that they they're touching the floor and there's no gap here. We don't want to be able to drive a car through there. You want to stick those knees nice down to the floor. You can even point your toes for extra points. <laughs> so this is our pike, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back, pike. Then we had our tuck, so we bring our knees into our chest and our tuck. And we also had a straddle, so our legs went out to the sides. Same with the knees, knees squishing down to the floor, long pointy toes. Straddle. The last one we did was a plank, wasn't it? So nice straight body, strong shoulders pushing you up on your arms. Okay, so let's just go through those one more time. So a pike. Pike, straddle, tuck, and plank. So, I'm going to add those shapes into our captain's coming game. Okay, so you got to listen carefully to hear which one I'm calling out. Alrighty, cool. So, let's start standing up straight, ready to go. All right, and climb the rigging. Scrub the floor. Straddle. And tuck. Captain's coming. Did you get the cue? I am captain. <laughs> All right, great job. And tuck. Hit the deck. Scrub the floor. Climb the rigging. Oh, captain's coming again. Great. And straight up.
Friday. <laughs> hey, great work everyone. Really good listening for all those commands. There was a lot of rules to that one, so great work. Alrighty, so um, if you haven't already, just go and grab a drink of water because it's important to stay hydrated during our class. Okay, so ask a big person to help you out with getting a glass of water. Okie dokie. Great, so that was a good warm up game. We were a bit puffed. Whew, lots of jumping around. Okay, so we are going to get into some of our juggling again. So we're just going to quickly look at what we were doing last week with our throws and then we're going to do some new things. Okay, so we, we know by now our underarm throw. So we're going to do a swing under. Okay, so um, up into the other hand. Under and up. All right. So, our nice little throws. I'm just using a pair of socks. You can also use a juggling ball if you have one as well, or a tennis ball. So just warming up our juggling, a few rows. If your hands need a little bit more warming up, you can flick them out like we're flicking water off our hands. Then we can join them together and we can make a big wave, like at the beach. And you can give them another shake out. Alrighty, cool. So, with our throws, our normal throws, we are going to use the underarm technique. And this is where your plastic bowl comes in. So. My one's a bit small, so it's going to be a bit challenging, <laughs> but that's okay, I'm up for a challenge. So, we're going to place the plastic bowl. If you have a yoga mat, you can put it at the end of your mat. Otherwise, you can just put it a bit, a bit far away from you, so you can take one, two, three, or four big steps away from it. Okay? So... I've got my ball at one end, I'm going to stand, uh, my bowl at one end, I'm going to stand at the other one, I'm going to use my underarm throw that I've been using for my juggling to try and get the ball and the bowl. Okay, so nice, gentle, big, lofty underarm throw. So big rainbow. Oh, I missed it. Uh, so instead of running to go get your ball, we're going to incorporate, we're going to use our animal walk to do so. So one that you might be familiar with by now is a classic bear walk. So you've got straight arms and legs, they're going to walk over to the socks to grab them and then you're going to walk backwards with those, with your bear walk. So nice straight arms, okay? So let's try that again. So give, your, give it a go, trying to get your socks in the bowl. Underarm throw, oh, a bit far again, and using your bear walk to go and get them again. That's it. All right, so this time when we throw our ball, or sucks, so give it a throw. Oh. <laughs> this time we're going to use our crab walk to go and collect the socks. So your fingers are pointing away from you, lifting your hips off the ground and walking your hands and feet sideways like a crab. Okay, so you can grab your socks, so you can just put them on your hip and you come back. That's it. Great. And let's give it another go. I can do this. <laughs> Alrighty, so do we remember any other animal walks that we did last time? A frog? Yep. So, we're in our, we're, we're sitting down with our legs, our hands in front, and we're using our hands to reach forward, and then we're jumping with our feet. 
to be a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. So we'll frog jump to get our socks and bring them back. Backwards. Nice. Alrighty. Okay. So this time we're going to do a new animal that we haven't done yet, okay? So it's going to be a dolphin, okay? So your arms are going to be up by your ears in a, in a triangle and we're going to stand up and dive down to the floor and then we're going to bend our knees and push back up again. So big dolphin dives. That's it. Grab your and this time we'll turn around and we'll go back as our dolphin. Nice. All right, give it your last go, trying to throw the socks in the bowl. Okay, last one. <laughs> That's okay. All righty, so gather up your bowl, gather up your socks, and we'll just pop them to the side. Take this moment to grab some more water. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Cool. So... This time we're going to try some partner juggling or some pass juggling, as we call it at circus. It's when you have two people that are passing the same pair of socks or a ball back and forth towards each other. So you're not doing it just by yourself, you're doing it as a team, okay? So we're gonna start facing each other. So imagine I have um, a buddy to pass with as well. So our buddy will be here, we'll both be standing up facing each other, and we're going to use our nice underarm throw to throw it to our buddy, okay? So, nice underarm throw, and then they catch it, okay? So, try and pass straight in front of you, okay? So, if I was passing to you, I'm using my underarm throw, and I'm throwing in front of me, okay? Try not to let it cross over to the other side. Try and pass it straight over in front. Okay, so remembering our nice underarm swing, big rainbow throw. The taller your rainbow is, the easier it's going to be for your buddy to be able to catch it. Okay, because it comes down a bit, gives you a bit more time to see where it is when it is coming towards you. So give a, a few goes at passing the pair of socks to each other. Back and forth. All right, after you've given it a few goes, make sure that you use the other hand that you haven't been using. Because in circus, it's really important for us to train both sides of our body equally, okay? So, if you've been using your right hand, use your left hand. If you've been using your left hand, then try using your right hand, okay? Ready, other hand.
if that's going really well for you and you want an extra challenge, then you can each start with a pair of socks or a ball each. So you can throw them at the same time to different hands. So if I'm throwing this one goes over and this person will throw one back to me at the same time. So I'll catch and throw. I'll throw then catch. So throw and catch. So you could give two a go as well. It's a bit more challenging because you've got to think about throwing and then straight away think about catching. All right, so this is where your plastic or milk bottle comes into play, okay? So I've got my bottle here. We're going to try some object balancing, okay? So it's best to stand up for this. So standing up and I'm going to turn the bottle upside down, okay? So, I'm going to start with my hand flat and my fingers together, like a plate. So I'm, and it's important that I'm watching the top of the bottle, okay? So I'm going to watch the top as I balance it. I'm going to take my other hand away nice and slowly with the bottle up straight. And then I'm going to move my hand to try and keep the bottle balanced, okay? So it's a bit tricky because You've got to keep moving your hand under the bottle to keep it balanced. That's it. So if you keep watching the top, that's how you're going to keep it balanced. So try standing up nice and straight like this. And you might need to walk around a little bit to help you at first. Once you've had more practice, then you just need you're going to try and keep your feet still. Alright, so give it a go. Balancing the small part of the bottle on your flat hand. And remember what I said last time? Make sure you try it on both hands. So my other hand, Woo. if that's been easy for you, then you could use less fingers, so you could try just two fingers. That. Or you could try one finger. Alrighty, where else do you think that you could balance that bottle? Could you balance it on your elbow, perhaps? Woo! <laughs> A bit wobblier. Could you balance it on your head? So you sit up nice and straight. Ta-da! <laughs> Where else might you balance it? Could you balance it? on your back. But where else? Can you balance it on your foot? <laughs> so it's your time to get creative with where on your body you could balance a bottle. Maybe on your shoulder. Object balancing can be hard work at first, but if you get lots of practice in, then it gets easier and easier if you keep trying. You get better and better. One that I like to try and do is balance them on my nose or my chin. This one's pretty tricky. <laughs> Alright, 
Okie dokie. So this is where you can pop your bottle to the side out of the way. And we are going to get our two chairs. So we're going to get the two chairs to face each other. Uh, got one. It's going to face inwards. And the other one is going to face inwards as well. So we want them quite close together so that your shoulders, that your hands are about as wide apart as your shoulders. So you don't want your hands to be out here. If they're going to be on the edge of the chairs, be about shoulder distance apart. So we're going to use these chairs just like the handstand canes that you use at the hub to do some positions. So do you remember our tuck and our pike? Important positions from before. So we're going to try those with these chairs. Okay, so there's some important things to think about when you're doing this. So firstly, we're going to have our hands on the edge of the chairs and we're going to be pushing up nice and strong through our arms. So we're going to have straight arms and our shoulders are going to move down away from our ears. So we don't want our shoulders up here, we want to bring them nice and down. Okay, so place your hands on the chairs, sitting down, and remember your shoulders pushing away from your ears. Okay, so big strong arms. From here, we're going to see if you can lift your feet off the ground and bring your knees up to your chest in your tuck shape. Okay, so let's give a tuck and a go. That's it. Did you remember to push your shoulders away? So pushing your shoulders a big distance away from your ears. So don't let them squish your ears so you can't hear anything. We want to move the shoulders away from the ears. Let's give it another go. So hands on your chairs, sitting down, and lifting the knees up. Nice work! Great! So this time, let's see if we can hold our knees up nice and high for five seconds, okay? We ready? Hands on. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Can be some pretty hard work in circus, but we're all doing a great job. Cool. Okay, so the other shape that I mentioned just before was our pike. Okay, so we're going to try our pike with the chairs this time. So the same thing with the shoulders, they've got to push down away from the ears. Okay, hands back in place. This time, we're going to stretch the legs out in front of us in our pike. Okay, so again, like a pike on the floor, with our flat pike, we still want our knees to be squeezing nice and straight. We want nice straight legs, not bendy knees up here. We want to stretch them out as long as we can. Let's try it again. Hands on. And stretching the legs out by. And we're going to try that one for another five seconds again. Okay. Hands on. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Good job. All right. So, one more time, we're going to try and do them together. Okay, so we're going to try and go. Tuck. Pike down. Okay? So we're going to try and link them together. Oh, 
All right, let's go. Five, touch. Five, touch. Five, touch. Nice work, up high. All right, let's get the chairs out of the way. Alrighty. Okay, so if you remember from a couple of weeks ago with Rich, you did some adagio, which also it means partner acrobatics. So I have a circus hub friend with me that I'm going to try and use to help demonstrate the moves with me. So just to recap, we're going to revisit the bluebird move. So, first off, in Dagio there's often a base and a flyer. So the base is normally the person on the ground, the flyer is usually the person in the air. So for this class right now, we'll do the bigger person as the base and the smaller person as the flyer. But that doesn't always have to be the case. Sometimes the smaller person gets to lift the big person too. So for this one, small person is the flyer, so as a base, I'm going to be lying down on my back, have my feet up in the air, and what's going to happen is my legs are going to cycle under and up to bring my flyer up onto my feet. Okay? Ooh, so we want our feet over our hips. <coughs> the flyer is going to be in a nice bird shape here. Okay, so you're going to lift your chest up and keep your legs down. Okay. So, use my friend. So, So flyer is going to be ready on the ground, my base, the base, hip, feet and hips, we're going to come up onto our hips. <laughs> there we go. To come down we can hold hands here and come on back floor. Okay, so it will look a bit different when it's a real person obviously, <laughs> with a spine. <laughs> Okie dokie, so one more for good luck. So we'll hold hands, feet on hips, and we'll come up onto our hips. If you feel comfortable, then you can let your hands go. Inside. That's it. Hands on again. Bend the knees to come back to the floor. Nice and slow. Alrighty, so the next one on this, the flyer just needs to turn around so that they're facing away. Okay? So the base is doing the same thing, the same under and up with their legs, but we're going to try it backwards this time. So, you want your feet towards the hips and the lower back, and we have our hands by shoulders. Okay, so the fly is going to lean backwards, leaning back, and base is going to push them up, just like before. Okay. Come back down again, hands back to shoulders, bend the knees and help the flyer stand up nice and straight. Okay? Right, so the base again, holding shoulders under and up. To come down, bending the knees and helping the flyer stand up straight.
So an, an important part of adagio is working together at the same time. So timing is everything. All right, so let's fly it. Um, both partners face each other. So you can face each other and hold hands. It's best to stand up for this, so I should show you. So if we're standing up, okay, so we hold hands and we're going to stand toes to toes, okay? So standing toes to toes. And then we're going to keep our bodies nice and straight. So we've got our arms in. Then we're going to keep our body straight and lean our arms out away from each other. So we're trying not to arch or pike. We're just trying to stay a nice straight line, leaning out together. Okay, if that's going well, then we're going to slowly bend our knees together. Keep leaning out. So try not to drop in. Keeping leaning out all the way and sitting right down. After that, we're going to keep leaning back to stand up again. Okay? So it's all about working together with your timing. So just try, just try um, sitting down and standing up together. An important thing to remember, or that I should mention, is the hand grip, okay? So, we're not just holding hands. You can just hold hands, but in circus we use a special grip a lot of the time, and we call it monkey grip. So, it would be just, look, it would look just like this, okay? So, each person is holding the other person's forearm area, okay? So grab on above the hand, a bit lower here. So grabbing the forearm, grabbing the forearm, and that creates a nice lock here. So this is nice and strong. It's a bit stronger than just holding hands like this, okay? And it's better for our fingers, so our fingers don't get bent either way. So holding onto the forearms, just like this, okay? So, when you're doing your balances like this, remember, this is the hand holding just above on the floor. Okay, so starting with arms bent and straightening out to straight arms before you sit down together. Great! All right, so try to show you here. So we're going to give a go, give it a give a go with standing in hands. Okay, so the flyer is going to start by the bases here. Okay, so the base is going to lie down again. They're going to have their feet by their bum this time and your hands flat on the floor by your ears, okay? So, face is in this position. The flyer is going to stand into the feet, into the, stand their feet into the base's hands, okay? So you're going to be facing the same way as the base. So your heel will come into the middle of their hand. What's going to happen is the base is going to lift their hands one at a time to here. And then you'll be standing in their hands. To make it more comfortable, the base, we're going to have our legs up straight here so that the flyer can hold on to our feet when they step up from here to here. Okay? So, starting with standing, in, standing your feet in the base's hands, holding on to their feet with your hands and we're going to go step, step, okay, 
if that's working really well for you, then the base can push up to straight arms while the flyer holds onto their feet. Okay, and now we're standing in hands. If that was good, come down one at a time, down, down, and lowering back down with your hands. Okay. Good job. Awesome. Alrighty. So, we're going to do a little bit of a creation exercise now. And you may have played it with us at the Circus Hub in, in Newtown. We call it postcards. So, what happens is that one person goes and uh, pretends to be something. It could be anything. So, for example, I'm going to come over and I'm going to be a tree. Okay, so I'm going to look like a tree with my long branches moving in the wind. Okay. Then, the next person's job is to come up to the tree and make something that would also be found alongside a tree. So, if I was the next person, I'd come up, so here's the tree, and then I might be a fruit picker, picking the fruit off the tree. Okay, so I'm picking the fruit. Alright, so what would you add to that scene or story? Okay, so imagine there's a tree, imagine there's someone picking fruit. What else could you be in that? A few things that I think about might be a bird coming to eat the fruit. So you could be a bird flapping and picking at the fruit. Looks like there's some cool ideas happening. Alright, so let's try a new story. So, let's make the story at the beach, okay? So what would you be if you were at the beach? What would it look like? You could be building a sandcastle. You could be a wave. You could be someone surfing on the wave. You can be as creative as you can. Nice work. I love the ideas that are coming through on this. So for now, we'll come back onto our mat if we've got one or into our space. We'll join our feet together, holding our feet, and we'll flap our butterfly wings. Okay. Then, we're going to come up to our cat, so our hands are under our shoulders, and we're going to think about sinking and arching our back, looking up to the sky. Happy cat. Then we're going to tuck under for our angry cat. So lifting your back up to the roof, angry cat. And we're going to be curious cat, looking over to the side for our, see if our tail is still there. And better check the other side too. And then we're going to lie nice and flat as you can on the floor before you bring your hands in beside you and pushing up to a nice back stretch. Yeah. Nice. Can you hang down here and sway side to side like a tree until you're standing all the way up? And can you say yes with your head? Yes. 
And no. No. Alrighty. Hey, well done everyone. Really good job with class today. And we can go one, two, three, yay, circus. All right. Thank you for joining me with the class this morning. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter break together. And we'll hopefully see you next week. You can check out the schedule for stream classes at www.circus.org.nz. Awesome. Thanks, everyone.